Hey, what's up, you guys? So I get a lot of questions on the Boom Vaders and the Grom clones on removing the little emission stuff in your stock carburetor. So I'm going to do a quick little video to show you guys what to remove and how to do it. Um, so let me just show you guys real quick. Okay, so I just took off the carburetor. So you're going to take off the intake manifold, two eight millimeter bolts. That holds on inside of there, right inside of there on top of the head. So that sits like that. And then your carburetor sits to the other piece. So what you're gonna be removing is you wanna change this or you can cap this, you can reuse this manifold if you're gonna use a smaller carb, like a 20, a PZ20 or a 22. You wanna remove this. So all the EVAP emissions kind of junk. Um, so you just unbolt this. This is bolted to the carburetor right here And then it also has this little piece right here So normally what you can do with this is you can buy an EGR block off um, They sell them like on eBay for like five six dollars or you can just cut this crimp it and just weld it so This one's shut. That's where exhaust gases will be coming out of so you need to close that up and then after you do that Then you just take off these hoses you can remove all this get rid of all this junk right here in the way and then you also got a little canister in the back that's in there so you got to remove that canister as well and then you can remove the big air box in it so you can put a, either a forward facing carb or you can put you know the side one with the pod filter so you remove the whole intake stuff like that and this is the stock carburetor that comes out of them this is the one right here these give a lot of problems and they're just not for performance so this is a pz20 um it's just not a performance one or really anything good about it so yeah you can remove all this stuff makes it pretty simple and uh cleans up the whole engine compartment pretty good so you just want to remove that stuff on there and yeah Okay, and to take off the air box, you'll have these two little tabs. There's little tabs that are inside in the frame right here. They're easy to get to. They're gonna be two little eights, so it's smaller little ones. One on each side. And then after you pull those out, you'll be able to pull all this other stuff out. And this is one of the, let me get this out real quick. So there's the air box, okay? And then you remove, this is the little thing from the breather from the gas tank. So you just leave that one open to the atmosphere. This right here, I always delete, I always delete this and change it out. I always take out this whole setup because a lot of people have problems with this right here. Um, what happens with these bikes is they kind of like vapor lock and the way these just the missions and all the stuff they got on here just don't really work. So when you remove all this and just go to like a straight carburetor it that makes it so much better so that's like the first mod that anybody should do and uh you know it clears up all this room look at all this room you got now to work in here and put another carburetor and a filter okay so here's that little canister i was telling you guys about so that little canister is in there oops give me a second it sits back there so it's behind the starter all you got to do you can take off the panels but you can just reach back here, grab it, wiggle it off, and then pull it out. And what will be connected to that will be that line. It's this. This line with this little piece that messes it up for everybody. And then, obviously, you got this whole setup thing. So once you remove all that, then you can get your nice setup on there, your nice air filter. And then this one right here, it's just your breather for your motor. So that one, normally what I do is I just tie it up and I just leave it up right here somewhere with a little filter on it. You don't have to, you can just let it hang down off the back, but that's how I do it. So yeah, so that's how you remove your stuff. And then pretty soon I'll have a video of different carburetors you can put together and put on here that all work. Thanks for watching.